Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? It's the one and only hip hop game, my hot 9-7 Logitech G. I'm telling tell you right now, man, something's about to happen. I'm emotional, son. It's about to be crazy. So, before I tell y'all what's about to happen, you know, I got some people that I want to introduce y'all to. So, check it out, check it out. Come we'll over here. We got Lamara, you know what I'm saying? GP, public relations. That's God's plan, baby. You know what I'm saying? How you feel, Lamar? You good? I'm great. This is what I'm talking about. The one yeah, that yeah, 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 I know me already. The one that I know me already. I know me already. You just talked to the building. You already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So introduce yourself to everyone. Yeah. Right, we're after this. Let's get to cover something really big. We can't yeah. say. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. So we're looking to change lives. This is gaming and guidance. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Melissa. She'll be here in a second. And, um, you know, the champ is here. The champ is here. You know what I mean? And the love is always there. One love and God bless. Wait till you see what's about to happen. Um, And an avid video gamer and his family getting a big surprise from a popular radio personality. News 12 Night Sides reporter Carmen Grant has more from Mott Haven. Yeah, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. It's a surprise visit with a special gift for avid gamer Matthew Munez. This is the controller right here. You see what I'm saying? Yo, Matthew, this is it. Hip-hop gamer presenting the 26-year-old with his very own specialized Xbox controller designed for gamers with physical disabilities. It allows you to be able to do the same functionality that someone with, you know, left right hand would do. Radio station Hot 97, Microsoft, and Logitech G worked together to provide Matthew with his special gift. Just to see his face, and he's smiling, like he's happy. And to do that, it just goes to show you how impactful gaming is. Matthew, who is an avid gamer, suffers from spinal muscular atrophy type 2, a genetic neuromuscular disorder that affects the nerve cells, which controls voluntary muscles. His father hopes the new controller will help improve his son's spirits. First time he's smiling in two years. Um, this will set him forward, motivate him to see if possibly he can get off the ventilator. The 26-year-old recently had his hand amputated because of the debilitating disease. Today was the first time in two years Matthew has held a video game controller in his hand. Oh, it's amazing for everybody, not just him, people like him. In Mont Haven, Carmen Grant, News 12 Nightside. But this first time meeting in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, so yeah, man, we got everything uh ready. Um oh I, I get to hold this. Oh I, 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 I used to hold the mic, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this will be the, the best news episode ever like everybody, I'm telling you. So I come on, I can't wait to meet him. I can't wait to meet him. So Matthew, oh my God, like, so I'm Hip Hop Gamer, we here, Hot 97, Logitech G, this is Channel 12 News, I can get the mic, oh, oh, oh. this is Channel 12 News and stuff, um, this is Tavon's, uh, if you can, try to, you know what I'm saying, uh, this is Tavon, how are you? This is uh, Melissa, hey. right here, like, if you come around. I'm, this I'm is, doing double duty. Yeah, this is DJ Sparks. Yes. This is Lamara. Hi. You know everybody else. This is, I, I'm sorry, I want to say your name wrong. Look, pretend I'm not here. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so just, yeah, pretend and I'm not here. we have a gift for you because I know you're a hardcore gamer, and I'm a hardcore gamer too. And as you can see on the belt, I got Kratos, Mario, and Master Chief. So you already know I'm a hardcore gamer. So I want I want to present you with an amazing gift. Uh, thank you, Microsoft. Thank you, Logitech, for putting this together. This is the Xbox Adaptive Controller. 
the Xbox Adaptive Controller. This controller will allow for Matthew to get back into gaming like how we love the game. So, Matt, Matt, careful, 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 so one, this is the father and son combo right here. This is the Logitech Pro X Series headset. This is the Logitech Pro X Series headset. This is for you. So when you're beating your father in the game, you can hear it and talk in a whole nother way. All right? God bless you. This is going to be amazing. not going to work because he ain't going to beat Oh, no, no, no. I think he's going to beat you. You're going to beat him, right? Yeah, you're gonna beat him. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So, Matthew, how do you feel? Very excited. Very excited. So, what's the first game you're going to play? Gears of War. Oh, sorry. No, now. What are you gonna play now? Now it's Gears of War. When he gets later on by himself, he's gonna play Kingdom Hearts. He's been waiting to play the last few And so last question. Um, what do you think about all this? It's amazing. <gasps> yo, yo. Thank you, Ruby. Well, it's amazing for everybody, not just him. People yeah. Like him. Awesome. Yo, thank yo, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Yo, thank you. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try to call Sparks. I'm sorry. This is what happens, right? You don't see it. Like, uh, traditional, like standard Xbox controller. You know, everything is there. This is like normal. So what? This controller does is allow you to simulate what this is. So the reason why you see all these inputs right here is because like you see how this is uh if you look at it from this standpoint you see y x b a and right here you have y y x b a so if let's say you plug in this this little clickable thing and you plug it in a now when you hit this it's a and then you could take these buttons and it could be B or X, and then now you can hit it like this. So if it's your right hand that's missing and stuff like that that was imitated, you can still use uh, this hand and then you hit it like this, or you could click like this. So you still can do the same functions that you can with a regular controller. The cool thing about the adaptive controller is that it allows you, if I'm not mistaken, uh, up to 40 different modifications so let's say you got a steering wheel and you know you got the pedal I can use my pedal as a button as well with my foot so no matter what the situation is you can set it up so you can normalize gaming for everyone that's um you know so they can match what you would do from a normal standard uh, normal standard controller so that's what makes this great but the best part to me is the co-pilot feature because the co-pilot feature you can set it up to where these both of these controllers act as one. So while I'm moving around doing doing this, then another person could do the other functionalities. So it's these controllers come together as one, but it's two people controlling them. So that right here in this situation is great because of the father son relationship between Kenny and Matthew. So I think this this is woo, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, this, this is good. Like yeah, this is good. This is great. So Matthew. So if you can, can you hold this or no? <laughs> Is that good enough for you? You want me to raise the I'm telling you, 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 so what we're going to do is we're going to give you the ability to be able to walk around with your character and use your walk forward. And also, when you, hit, when you use this hand to hit this, you'll be able to shoot. And if you hit this, you'll be able to duck in the cover. So 
would you rather this button be your shoot or this button be your cover? Like shoot or shoot? Matthew, which one, baby? This one? Shoot. This one? All right, so, we, so what's, so what's going to happen with the Xbox Adaptive Controller, we're going to set this button to be able to shoot and this button to be able to go on the cover, and he'll be able to maneuver the attachment here. We'll be able to maneuver the attachment here. Today is a great friend of mine named Kenny. This is actually my first time meeting him, but we've been talking for over two years. He told me that he had a son that loves to you know, play video games, but you know he has SMA type two, so it's a disease with muscular dystrophy. And um, in the process, he wound up having his right hand amputated. So if you're a gamer, you already know that's gonna break you. So thanks to you know the people over at Microsoft, um, Xbox, uh, Logitech, G, you know my partners and everything, uh, they provided me the Xbox adaptive controller, which normalizes and allows everyone to be able to game together like you know like how to use it. So to me, this is a passion project. Yo, I, I'm, yo, it's, it's really really incredible. I'm trying not to cry yet, but uh, but um. To, just to see his face, Matthew is the, the you know, kid, just to see his face, and he's smiling, like he's happy, and to do that, it just goes to show you how impactful gaming is, and that's why we're here to, you know, to inspire. Tell me about how did you meet his father, he was on the show, or? Uh, no, so, so what happened is, uh, uh, my sister, uh, my sister Dee, she um, was in a hospital, and they had met, and I guess they were talking about gaming or something. And anytime gaming comes up, I'm the one. All right, I'm the one to go to. So uh, she told him about me. Uh, he called me and literally been talking for like two years ever since. And I've, I've just been working really hard to make sure that I'm able to help out and be a part of their lives, be a part of their lives, and bring something to them to make them smile again. So Matthew's a hardcore gamer and everything. So the main question is when. The enjoyment, you know, like the passion that he has with gaming and stuff like that. How did gaming affect him, you know, in terms of just growing up and everything like that? How did it impact his life in terms of gaming as a whole? Um, when he was little, he started doing regular right stuff. Five, six, three, four. He four. four. I was the same age when I started. <laughs> My grandmother taught me how to play games at four. Get out of here. Literally. We family, you already know that. So that's <laughs> old. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, we started, I started with the game and I told him, you know, if you have a rough day, game. So you get your frustrations out. Somebody's phone. You get your frustrations out. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's one of them. You get your frustrations out, you can do whatever you want in the game. And you can get, get locked up for nothing because you didn't do nothing. Mm. Yeah, so go, pick a game that you like, play it, so you feel comfortable, get to the spot you at, Get tired, pick up two more. And keep doing it. Different games. And he started building up different games and then he started he got his little vocal cords into it and talking mess and you know. <laughs> and trash talker. Yeah. You know. trash you like became, that, you like that. <laughs> trash became more and more out of his mouth, you know. And if I didn't want to play him, you skate. You know, certain words I can't say. You know, because you're gonna be on the news. But everybody is, everybody's on a gamer that's a gamer. And I don't want no because yeah. we said it to each other. Absolutely. You know? And then he, you know, I can smell you, you know, now you know what words go with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> walking away. So um when he got bigger we started playing, I think it was Naruto. And he was talking trash to me. I didn't know how to play the game, really, I didn't play it before. So I sat behind him. And if you're gonna talk trash to me, I'm gonna sit behind you. Like I told you over the phone, I'm gonna let you whoop me the first two rounds. Because <laughs> I'm gonna watch how you play. Stomp, you know. So and I hadn't played in three years. He whooped me so bad. You been? Oh look, he smiled. He smiled. He smiled. He my hand so wasn't on the remote on the first one because yeah. my thumb kept jamming. And he was like, "See, you shouldn't even play. You're not even worthy of being in the same place." With me. Oh my God! I said, "I'm gonna hurt you." I'm telling you. Next round, I grabbed the remote and I, I forgot what happened. I think the remote slipped or something and pounded the hell out of me. Oh, his mouth got real loud. Oh, man. I, I got in the next eight fights. You yeah. cheating. <laughs> now I'm cheating. They <laughs> tell me that too because I'm that good. So, trust me, I get it. Yeah. Now, so, yeah, you know, now I have a major, major question for you. Yeah. And just as a father, yeah. just as a father, can you like kind of like detail what it took at all? What does it take on a daily basis 
to be strong enough to not just handle your own personal issues, but to take care of your son and just go through the process and all that. Like, just explain that to me. The role model, my dad. Dad was amazing. Um, sorry, he been gone 20 years. I said love this. you, man. I'm sorry, man. You know I love you, man. My dad was my clone. I'm not my, I'm my dad's clone. Mm -hmm. um, my dad was. And then my father picked up the after My uncle in Florida. You know, it's my dad, my uncle in Florida, my father. Some men don't get, aren't blessed to have one role model. I was blessed to have three. Um, plus, an uncle of mine passed away. Uh, I got my, I was blessed to have four horsemen to teach me. How to be the way I am. And my father lived by a certain boat, like I told you. It's, it's live within your means, and nothing you can't. Step out of your means, and nothing you'll be able to do. Mm -hmm. Live in honesty and respect. Be able to look in your mirror. This is my words. Be able to look in your mirror every day. And I just got out of the shower, or I just came in from work. You'll be happy with what you see. If you're not, you're not to make changes for your reflection. You never lie to you. Yo, you all make me cry on here, man. Yes. Yo, bro. Yeah, I live Yo. by those words. Yo, I love I you, man, so much, man. So much, man. Matthew, we about to hook you up.